Aloha everybody, Mike Drutar, principal broker and owner of Next Home Paradise Realty, bringing you another property tour. Today we are in Kona Vistas, and why is it called Kona Vistas? Because check out the ocean view. I know it's a gray day, I get it, but proof that that's the ocean. There's a cruise ship right over there. Um, we're going to check out a brand new home. This is in excellent condition and it's featuring some really nice modern amenities and styling that you're really going to like. A lot of you on the mainland are going to say, this looks pretty familiar, a little bit different than we see in Hawaii and a lot of you are going to like it. This is a four bedroom, three bath, 2,610 square foot home listed by John Hoff at Hawaii Life. John called me the other day, actually texted me and said, hey, your YouTube channel is getting a lot of folks looking at these houses. What do you think about coming by and checking out mine? I said, you got it. So big thank you to him for reaching out to me. This one's listed at $2.25 million in a highly desirable area with these great views. We're going to show you the outside, the inside. I'm going to tell you my three favorite things about the property. And the one thing that I would change if it were mine. Starting out out here, so they've put in the grass that's going to be coming in and growing in. You can see that it's already starting to sprout out. We got some ginger and some palms, uh, so the landscaping will be filling in pretty quickly. Board and batten on the side, that nice plantation look that you're used to seeing out here. Fully guttered, and I like this Ohia post that we have over here. Two car garage. We see our solar hot water heater. There's our solar hot water panels on top. And there's our solar hot water heater back there in the garage. That thing is huge. Holy smokes, look at that. Nice job. And so one thing about the solar hot water heaters is sometimes you can have a long period of gray days and the solar hot water heater doesn't heat it up so much. So you do need a backup. So this is electric backup on here too. And you have a little timer in there. So you can set it to where that electric backup doesn't even bother coming on during the day. But if the temperature of the water heater drops below the setting that you have it on at night, it'll kick on and keep that water nice and warm for you. So if you take a late night shower, you'll still be set. Okay, in addition to the Ohia post, I like what they have here with this uh, beam done. They could have painted that beam across the top, but by leaving it natural like that, along with the wood on that door, looks nice and sharp. I like it and it's clear so you see right through to the ocean view which is like I said it's a little gray today. I'm going to have a link down in the description below. It's going to take you to uh, my website that has an MLS uh, listing on this. It's going to have all the great photos so you'll see that view come in a little bit better and I'm going to be out there as well to take in that view again a little bit better. Okay. I love this house. This is the design and style that I would go for. I mean, this is checking all my boxes, guys. Holy smokes. Okay, we've got vaulted ceilings, two ceiling fans. We've got the pendant lights in the kitchen. Nice hanging light, looks really good there in the dining room. Recessed lights. And this is what we're doing with the kitchen these days, guys. Kitchen goes against one wall. We have our island, single level, coarse countertops. I mean, this is just exactly what we're all looking for. I love the setup here. So we got the four chairs right here. I think this is probably where you eat most of the time, but you do have the dining area. They have a stage with this little four person table, but you could easily put a six or eight person table in here long ways if you wanted to do that. Keep it looking sharp. I always contend that most of the time though, when you have a lot of people over for dinner and you're having a nice dinner, you're most likely gonna do that out on the lanai. So nice setup here. And then I like our accents, our wood down below. Really good job on that, looks sharp. And then our cabinetry on this back wall. So excellent job. The backsplash goes straight down, right to the quartz countertops. That's exactly what we wanna see. Check out these cabinets. Nice work on these. Soft clothes, those are soft. And then look at these big, huge, Deep drawers, awesome. You like dovetail joints? There's some dovetail joints for you, look at that thing. Soft clothes on that great KitchenAid, that's a great brand. Got our stainless steel glass top oven and cooktop. Another big drawer right here. Got a utility drawer here, soft clothes on all these things. And look down here, 
We got our pullouts. I know everyone likes that. And those are soft clothes on the pullouts and the doors for the pullouts. I mean, they've done it all right. Wonderful kitchen aid, side by side refrigerator. Brand new, like I see we still got the Energy Guide sticker on there. $68 a year for this thing. And then our freezer, excellent job. And then we got our stainless steel kitchen aid dishwasher over here at large. Single basin sink. I like the cutting board integrated or put right on top there. Oh yeah, it does. It's got a little stopper down here. Like that, so that it sits right in here. Custom fit. We got our faucet here, restaurant style. Oh, and it's magnetic. Nice job on that. Really like the setup on this whole thing is excellent. Uh, we got the pull-out drawer for rubbish and recycling. Good job on that. Let the camera catch up to us. And then we have our view out to the rest of the house. Massive area here. A lot of room for living. I'll tell you, you could set this up a few different ways. So definitely have your dining stuff, your dining area over here. But you could kind of make this a TV area a little bit more. You could push this couch in a little bit closer if you wanted. And then you could have kind of just an extra seating area right here. Maybe a few chairs. Maybe a chair, chair, small table, and then a couch right here facing out. Um, or you could make this even larger and just do the, the one areas. But you can kind of divide this up into two separate areas. So a really nice job on that. A couple of other things to point out too. We got the flat trim all the way around our doors here. Looks sharp. And then we got, looks like about six inch high flat trim baseboard. Excellent work on that. Looks nice and sharp like our niches that we have over on either side of our TV, and they both have two lights looking down, the built-in area for the TV, the built-in cabinet. Excellent job on all of this. Really, really like this area. And then finally, I did get a comment recently that people said, laminate flooring, oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me, but well, this isn't laminate, but luxury vinyl. This is what we're seeing a lot of out here, and people love it. It's really, really good in our environment, um, and I'm seeing a ton of it. Okay, so I'm going to check out a couple things here. Gretchen's sitting open house. This is one of the bedrooms. Hey, Gretchen. Uh, I would use it as an office just like that. It's listed as one of our four bedrooms, but really should be an office. You can make it a bedroom with a twin bed, but it's going to be a little tight. We come here to our utility. So there's our entry out over there to, over there to our garage. Got that same quartz countertop. So you're in here <laughs> doing laundry on these beautiful quartz countertops. A lot of times people go a little cheap in here. They didn't do it. They went nice with the dovetail joints, so good job on that. We have a front-loading washer and dryer built in here, and nice deep sink here for the hand washing that you may have to do from time to time. Good job on that. And I just spied something behind this door. We have a nifty little closet back here. It's kind of hidden. I didn't even know that was there at first. Nice work on that as well. Okay, from here, check out the pantry. Holy smokes, it's almost like an office there. They did a nice job on this built-in. Look how, I like it when they do a pantry with this really, really solid stuff. Cause you know, you're gonna put jars and cans and all kinds of things that are really heavy. So you need to make sure a pantry is built appropriately. Um, like mine in my condo, it's that wire stuff that you get at Lowe's and I mean, after a while you start seeing it sag, you're like, all right, how long is this gonna last? Um, don't have to worry about that with this. Great job on that. We got eight foot doors in here, guys. Eight foot doors, four hinges, cause they're big solid eight foot doors. Nice. So we're here in the owner's suite, plenty of space in here. We got a king size bed. You can see we got, gosh, a good four and a half, five feet or so on this side, probably seven, eight feet on that side. Slider going out, ocean view outside, vaulted ceiling, recessed light, ceiling fan. And they've already got it pre-wired in with your electric right here and your Cat5 and your plug so you can put your TV right there. Nice job on that. And then we're coming in here to, man, this house really was made for me. Coming in here to our owner's suite. Look at this, freestanding tub. Showed you one of these recently. Here's another one. And then zero threshold entry right over here into our shower with our long flat drain. And yes, two shower heads. 
I think my wife might call me on this one. I'm loving that. We don't see that very often here. I don't know why. I love the two shower head thing. Um, vertical alignment on these tiles that go all the way up to the ceiling, one foot by two foot tiles on there. Didn't even tell you we got dual basin sinks with this nice quartz. I really love the lines, the veins in this quartz. It looks outstanding. Love it. And then large mirrors here. Good job on that. Privacy door for the toilet. And then continuing on to this really nice large walk-in closet. Oh, well that's a nice touch. So they got this built here at a slight angle, perfect for your shoes. Good job on that. You know, sometimes people will have rows and rows and rows of shoes. Ladies, let me hear from you. Um, but just doing this all along each of the bottom sections with the hangers makes a good use of that space. Um, Cause you're already gonna have stuff hanging there. You're already gonna have room on the floor. Why take up some of your wall space with shoes when you can just make it all the way around. So good job on that. Just like the pantry, this thing is built super sturdy. I mean, this, this, this is solid. So really good work on that. Good job, five stars. Okay, so we still got the whole other wing of the house. I'm gonna call this the guest wing because I'm gonna say this bedroom here, I'm using that as a closet. So that's the owner's wing. This is the guest wing. Bedroom number, I guess this would be our third bedroom. Really good size on this third bedroom. Um, looking at about, I'd say 12 by 14 in here. Um, high ceilings, eight foot doors, recessed light, ceiling fan. And then another walk-in closet with solid construction, another built-in here. So you have your door there, it kind of gets in the way a little bit, so they custom built up here in this closet. Really, really good job on that. They didn't let it stop them, so stoked about that. And then continuing on, so we have another full bath right here. We have a single basin sink with a quartz countertop. We have our toilet. Zero threshold walk-in shower. So this is like the common bathroom. So like if someone's out, you know, visiting and they're in the living room and hanging out, this is the bathroom they would use. And also has access outside. So that's kind of cool. And then we come in here to bedroom number two. So this is basically like a second owner's suite. It's a little bit smaller, but plenty of room for a king size bed. You got your view outside there to the ocean. I'm gonna check it out again for you. And you have an in-suite bath that's pretty darn nice here. Same quartz countertops, it's looking extra sharp there, guys. And then privacy door here into the bathroom. We got our toilet. We got a linen closet on the side. Walk-in, zero threshold shower. I mean, he's doing the same thing in each bathroom, which is exactly, precisely what we wanna see. Turn around, continue back on this end. And then we have another Overbuilt, super awesome walk-in closet. Um, so like if this is my house, this section here is for the guests when they come. And this section here is probably my closet from the other end of the house. Or maybe it's our backup closet. She'd let me have space in my closet. I'm pretty sure. She's pretty reasonable. All right, and then let's come outside here. I uh, didn't point it out before, but you got your stained concrete driveway looking super sharp. They've put in this uh, plant, I think, I can't remember what that's called, but it's gonna kind of give you a screen. There's an empty lot right there that will get built on, I'm sure. Um, but that gives you a nice setup there. And then you can see our horizon line just barely right there. Enough to see that you have an amazing ocean view and you got our cruise ship in town, all the way right into Kailua Bay. That part of your view is, is looking nice and solid. And then we got a little bit of grass space out here. They got the grass starting to come in and give it a couple months and it'll be looking great. It's Hawaii, everything grows, as you know. You might be able to even fit in a splash pool right here. That's what I would probably consider doing. And then they went with the stamped concrete down here below on this covered lanai we got all these nice ohia posts we got that treated 
or uh, sorry, exposed, stained uh, header rail going around there as well. So pretty nice setup on that. All right, I'm gonna give you my three favorite things about the property and the one thing that I would change. Okay, favorite thing, number one, the kitchen. I mean, this is literally picture perfect. Look at that. That is so sharp. I love it, love everything about it. I really, I can't think of anything I'd change on this kitchen. I like that they have the thoughtfulness to have these really big, deep drawer uh, cabinets uh, that pull out, and then they have the pull outs right here. And then, you know, they have the rubbish right here. Um, perfect, absolutely perfect. That's my first favorite thing. My second favorite thing, spin around here guys, pardon me, is the setup here in the bathroom. The whole thing, again, absolutely picture perfect. Nice, large, um, look at this piece, there's no seam in this. It's a good, maybe 12 foot run. A lot of times you'll see a seam right here in the middle. They'll try and hide it. Not on this one. Absolutely perfect on this with our freestanding tub and our large shower with two shower heads. So number two thing is the awesome master bath. My number three thing is the sweeping awesome ocean views, which I know it's a, a difficult day to see it. We've had a little bit of weather here lately, but uh, the ocean views in here are super, super awesome. That's my third favorite thing. The one thing that I would add, I think you guys know what it is. Oh, there we go, open this door. I would add a small pool right here, nothing major. Just a little bit of a jump in and get wet and enjoy yourself. Uh, sit right there, check in the view. I'd actually have it elevated up and I'm seeing it. So you just don't dig it as deep. And then the beam of the pool sticks up like maybe a foot or 18 inches. And so it kind of just sits up and you have an infinity edge all the way around it. It just turns into a giant mirror. So when you're looking at these awesome sunsets that are out there, it's just reflecting the sunset. It's absolutely stunning. Check it out. Um, if you see anyone doing that or check out Instagram, you see people doing it. It looks incredible. I have one friend who puts a, a photo up every couple days and it just blows me away. It's like, I'm doing that when I build my place. So that's the one thing I would change. Hope you like this video. Click like and subscribe. I got more videos for you up in the corner. See you again real soon.